meeting with you today. I'll go over the scope of work for your home. Uh, John and Beth, we're going to be looking at um, replacing all of this, this siding right here on these gables. So you've got one, two, three gables and a couple dormers in the chimney. There's some pockets on the back patio cover that we'll cover as well. And what we'll do is we'll take all the trim off the, the uh, Tudor style right here, the cedar trim. All of it will come off. Um, I suggested that we take this box out right here, this ventilation box, and actually just make it um, soft it all the way across and put an 8 by 16 gable vent here. Um, you'll get a little bit better ventilation and it'll clean it up and you won't have this kind of um, scooping effect for your airflow here. And then we'll be able to cut out a uh, foot up on the masonite, put in 7 16 OSB because your um, existing masonite is half inch and then we'll put up uh, proper flashing on the OSB at the bottom. So everywhere you have a gable, we're gonna cut a foot up around the sides of the house and put in the 7 16 OSB to make it the same plane as your masonite you have existing. Then we're gonna add a Tyvek moisture bearer over everything that we're putting the hardy plank siding on. So everything from the freeze board below your soffit down will be hardy plank and it'll all be the staggered lap uh, shingle that'll give it a really cool kind of cottage look. And the dormer is the same thing, take off all the trim, um, put up the, uh, the Tyvek, make sure we make any necessary repairs before we nail the, uh, the, um, the shingles to the dormers. And then whatever you want to do here on this, um, on this uh, chimney, we can do some faux rock, or we can go up with, um, with um, the, the lap, we can go up with stucco siding, we can go up with, um, with the, um, the staggered edge shingle here too. And then on the garage, we'll be doing uh, garage door frame wrap. So we'll wrap that frame in Harley Point 2 to make it completely maintenance free. So everything on the house will be maintenance free after we're done. Um, the only thing that we won't be replacing is the soffits. They don't need to be replaced. It'll save you a lot of money and they're not exposed to the elements. We will do a fascia overlay on the complete project. All right, here on the right side of the house, we'll be taking all this trim off here, cutting up one foot up, putting up the 7 16 OSB, putting up the proper flashing on the bottom of the OSB, putting the moisture barrier over the masonite in the OSB that equals the same plane here. Let's, um, let's go ahead and plan on taking these, um, these two side um, vents out and putting in the, putting the 8 by, 18 by 24 gable vent that's louvered right in the center, kind of uh, center, high center up here for some really good ventilation and uh, cross ventilation through the two gables. Your floor plan and design and, um, and, and roof layout is perfect for that. I think that'll really increase some of the ener energy efficiency of your house as well by having that kind of air flowing up there. Um, and we'll be doing the, the uh, fascia overlay after making the necessary repairs on the one by fascia up to the existing one by two that's covered by the metal drip edge. In the back of the house, um, these are really the only two siding pockets you've got right here um, on either side of the patio cover. And so we'll be re-trimming um, this area right here, putting in that staggered edge shingle all the way across uh, on both sides of the patio cover, obviously. And then doing the fascia overlay, there's some um, damage here on this fascia board that's gonna have to be corrected before the overlay goes on. Um, the, the, the flashing that's necessary here will cut up that hardy plank one inch above these shingles here and then put a nice diverter on either side of the, the patio cover so when the water flows off the roof it's going to kick it out at a 45 degree angle and make it for a nice efficient water flow so we're not getting any behind there on the uh, porch soffit area. Here again all the soffits look great on the, on the back of the house too. There are a couple areas where the fascia has separated from the soffit because there's a nailer in between the rafters on the fascia. We'll go back and we'll, um, we'll either make sure that's adhered really well to the, to the nailers or we replace that uh, fascia board with a new piece of lumber before we do the fascia overlay. After we're done doing the fascia overlay and all the um, siding work, everything's going to get coated on the house. So everything that's lumber on your home will be painted, will be touched with paint. The paint has a 25 year warranty on it and um, Tulsa Renew, our company, puts a, a warranty as long as you live in your home, you're covered. So um, that warranty is really great. So that kind of gives you a little peace of mind of the stuff that we are leaving on the house, you know, I've deemed um, um, in good condition and um, the adhesion warranty for those services is going to apply as well. Here on the left side of the house, um, this is the same scope of work as the right side gable. So taking all the trim off, cutting out one foot up, 
716 OSB to make it the same plane to the, to the masonite. Um, putting up the Tyvek moisture barrier, taking this vent area out and putting in an 18 by 24 gable vent, doing the fascia overlay, and putting the proper flashing on the bottom for the brick. Um, the only other thing that I see on this is there's a little wire right here. There's a phone line that goes up. We'll actually um, take that phone line, run it neatly. There's a little mortar joint right there that I think it will fit perfectly in. And attach it to the brick and then stick it behind the OSB that we've cut out there um, so that all this wiring is, is hidden and we'll clean that area up right there on the house. So absolutely wonderful meeting with you guys today. Good to see you again. It's been a long time. And uh, I look forward to the opportunity of serving you and your home with this project. So you know how to get a hold of me. Let me know if you got any questions. And we'll talk to you later. Bye.